Thanks for joining us today for what's new in ArcGIS Enterprise 10.8. I'm Jill Edstrom. And I'm Peter Klingman. Now this release has a lot of great new functionality in it and new features, and we're gonna be going over the highlights. Sound good, Peter? Sounds good, Jill. Let's do this. Excellent. So the 10.8 highlights include, but are of course not limited to, user type extensions, data store items from existing data stores, new group settings, read-only mode available for the ArcGIS Enterprise portal, an information banner, map services from hosted feature layers, and vector tiles. So let's go into some more detail about all of these. First up, user type extensions. Now we already have user types introduced in ArcGIS Enterprise 10.7. User type extensions build upon that by extending what a user can do by providing access to specific functionality that can be in any compatible application. There are two user type extensions, Utility Network Service User Type Extension and Parcel Fabric Service User Type Extension. These extensions allow for business partners and developers to build and offer their own innovative applications and solutions that take advantage of this functionality, in addition to the functionality available when using ArcGIS Pro. Now you might be wondering, how do these user type extensions differ by user type? All user types have the ability to view and query the utility network. Viewers can perform traces and display stored network diagrams. Editors and field workers can do everything except publish and administer utility network services. Creators and GIS professionals can do everything. It's similar for the parcel fabric user type extension. Editors and field workers can do everything except publish and administer a parcel fabric. Creators and GIS professionals can do everything. These user type extensions can easily be added through the enterprise portal. That's pretty cool. Definitely helpful for our business partners that need to extend this functionality to products other than just ArcGIS Pro. So another new feature we're gonna be going over is data store items from existing data stores. The portal administrator can create data store items for existing data stores that were registered directly with a federated server. You can do this directly through ArcGIS Server Manager. Once you create a data store item for a registered data store, the data store is only available to the set of portal users with whom you share the item. This means you'll need to be aware of how you share the item through your ArcGIS Enterprise portal, whether that's to the entire organization or just specific groups. Speaking of groups, there are some new things for groups in the ArcGIS Enterprise portal. I guess I was done talking about data store items then. New features regarding configuring the ArcGIS Enterprise portal at 10.8 include, but are not limited to, hiding group members and restricting members from leaving a group. When you hide group members, an administrator can protect the privacy of members of groups by hiding the list of group members on the Members tab of the group page. When you restrict members from leaving a group, this ensures that members remain in the group unless they are removed by the group owner or a group manager. It's pretty fancy. Right on. So another new feature we had mentioned is read-only mode for the ArcGIS Enterprise Portal. And this is a new feature I'm actually really excited about. There's been read-only mode for ArcGIS Server for quite a few releases now, but now it's available to all of ArcGIS Enterprise. While read-only mode does not prevent normal access to the Enterprise portal, very few changes can be made to the portal, any federated servers, or the ArcGIS data store. This can be useful in preventing downtime and data loss when making system updates and upgrading your ArcGIS Enterprise. Wait, wait, this is a great opportunity for the information banner. Yeah, yeah it is. We'll, we'll get there in a moment though, so bear with us folks. When the enterprise portal is in read-only mode, users can view content in the map viewer, manage log settings, create backups, restore an ArcGIS data store using the restored data store utility, re-index the portal, and more. Now that sounds like quite a bit, but there's a reason why this functionality is here in 10.8. It can prevent users from creating or uploading items, running analysis tools in the map viewer, publishing or editing web services, creating or modifying groups or users, or importing ArcGIS Enterprise backups. And this is a great opportunity for us to talk about the information banner. It actually is. So do you want to tell us about that, Peter? You know it. Oh man, am I excited for this. Another great feature in 10.8 is the information banner. The information banner is a new feature that alerts all users who access your organization about your site's status and content. The banner is shown at the top and bottom of the site in the following locations. Home, Gallery, Map Viewer, Scene Viewer, Groups, Content, and the Organization Pages. It's easy to enable the information banner. All you do is go to your organization, navigate to the ArcGIS Enterprise Portal, and then Settings, Security, 
information banner. From here, you can set it. Okay, so I get why you were so excited about the information banner. It's a pretty snazzy feature. It's also useful for those kind of events that are out of the ordinary where you need to let your entire organization know what's going on. Yes, such as read-only mode being set on the ArcGIS Enterprise portal. It's true, I get it now. Are there any other features you want to discuss, Jill? Yeah, I'd like to go over map services made from hosted feature layers. You can create hosted map image layers from feature layers, either from the relational or spatiotemporal big data store. Owners of the hosted feature layers in the ArcGIS Enterprise 10.8 portal can add one of these layers to a map in ArcGIS Pro 2.5 and publish a map image layer. Doing this allows feature layer owners to make their hosted feature data available to others on a truly read-only basis. This allows for their map image layers to take advantage of ArcGIS Pro's advanced authoring capabilities such as symbology, labeling, etc. Once published, that map image layer will connect directly to the data source. Okay, so that brings up another piece of functionality that I'd like to discuss, vector tiles. There's been a lot of enhancements to vector tiles in ArcGIS Enterprise 10.8. Two of the new features are replacing and customizing vector tile layers. The replace layer interface allows you to replace the content of the current hosted vector tile layer with the content in a replacement layer. It also allows you to choose how to archive the current content and preview the styles that are applied to the layer. It alerts you when the current and replacement layers don't match so that you can correct problems before you actually replace the content. For customizing vector tile layers, you can now customize the style directly through the map viewer. It's pretty neat. Wow. Those are a lot of awesome new features at 10.8. I know. Something that you should really take the time to check out for yourselves. Thanks for hanging out with us. And for product advocacy, I'm Jill Edstrom. And I'm Peter Klingman, reminding you to stay classy, ArcGIS Enterprise fans. Thank you and goodbye. Bye.